King Shundi Ali, who is a yoga priest, to four libations. Temish, 
the land of the black-skinned people. Egypt and Ethiopia were once the same land, but the spread of the Sahara Desert has divided it. But no, this is the cradle of civilization. Hear me now what I'm saying. Dr. Louis Leakey found the bones that say 3.5 million years ago in Ethiopia, in Africa, the oldest known form of any human life existed. The Europeans said it, not the Africans. Yes. They dug up the bones. That's all right. We have the proof. So we know that the African mother, and her name was not Lucy, by the way. That's what they call her. That wasn't her name. But in Ethiopia, we know that all human life goes back to that African mother. We all were birthed through her womb. So in Ethiopia, we want to give praises to the great Emperor Haile Selassie. Many of our brothers and sisters embrace his Jah Rastafari. We want to give homage and praise to his whole lineage. We want to give praise to Solomon. We want to give praise to Makeda, who was the queen of Sheba, the most beautiful woman in the world. That lineage goes all the way back from ancient Egypt until Ethiopia, and we are descendants of that time. So all of those who were a part of the first nation, the first holy land, that all human life sprang from in Ethiopia, all of those ancestors we say in South. In West Africa, we had Kwame Nkrumah in Ghana. We had Sekou Toure in Guinea. We had uh, Sheikh Anthony Joke in Senegal. We had the great Enamde Azikiwe in Nigeria. All over that West African continent, we had so many leaders and heroes. We can only call a few names. Great Sheikh Amadou Bamba, all of the spiritual leaders, we pour libations for them for all those great nations in Africa in the West. We say Insa. We want to go to Central Africa. Let us never forget Zaire. Let us never forget Patrice Lumumba, the struggle and the revolutionary, and all of the slaves that were taken out of Zaire. Many of you are Zaireans that don't even know it. So we want to remember where our ancestors come from, from those in Central Africa, in the Congo, in Zaire. We pour libations for them. We say Insa. Okay, now we want to go south. And when we go south, we know we stomp for the Zulu nation. Right. The great Shaka Zulu and the great Nambi, his mother, and all of them, and all of that art and sciences that they gave to the world, he taught the Europeans how to fight. And also our brother Hannibal. Y'all remember Hannibal? Yeah. Hannibal also taught them the strategies that they know in the United States Army today. We taught them those ancient skills of fighting to the great Hannibal, to the great Shaka Zulu, his mother, and all of those freedom fighters, and especially all of those children who died in the South African Revolution. And if you think the South African Revolution is over, you are fool. So you want to ask, what next after Mandela? What next after Mandela? They still got a plan. They're going to try to take South Africa back because, you know, the European who was once the president is still a vice president. So we got to look at that. Because nevertheless, we're going to give some strength to those children because those children got out there and they fought in the way to they give up their lives at 12, 13 years old. Yeah. And young children don't know about it. They exactly. got out there and fought, and some change did occur yes. because of those sacrifices. So let's remember all of the children who died in the South African Revolution and all the freedom fighters who stayed inside. inside. We want to remember our brothers and sisters all over that African continent because we are, in fact, African descendants. Let me hear you say African descendants. African descendants. African descendants. That's what you are. You are not an African American. American is actually something that you've never been. You were born in America. You grew up. If you don't walk like American, you don't talk like American, you don't even act like American. Am I speaking the truth? Yes, sir. Okay? But when we say we're African Americans, we have to say we're African first. So be African first. You see some of us saying we're African. We act more American than we act African. Nevertheless, when you say you're African descendant, you can be from Haiti, you can be from Jamaica, you can be from Chicago, you can be from Mississippi, you can be from Ethiopia. We all are descendants of that motherland, fatherland, Africa. So that's what we choose to call ourselves. So as now, we're going to make that journey. We can talk about Africa, and Africa should be anywhere that you are. Africa should be inside your heart right now, even though we're right here in the city of Detroit. We're nested in the comfort of our African tradition. As we get ready to make that journey, remember, brothers and sisters, like Brother Malcolm said, we lost our mind in Africa. We left our mind in Africa. We made that journey, and some of us are still struggling now, trying to catch up to ourselves. But we're coming along. You look very beautiful tonight. I'm glad to see you wearing the garb and knowing exactly who we are. But when I say get ready for the journey, get ready for the journey. We're talking about the African Holocaust. Nobody wants to talk about it. We're talking about over 100 million slaves. That's right. That was right. Yeah. 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 Come on, yeah. This is our family. We never shall forget them. And I get the bone chilling feeling every time I go to the Detroit River. Because do you know, do you know, my dear brothers and sisters, that was the last stop of the Underground Railroad. That's where Harriet stopped. And that's where she came. And she did not lose 
a brother and sister on the underground railroad. Right. But they stopped right down here where Phoenix Barn used to be, right in the middle of where Greek Town is today. That's right. And we were talking about the other night. They made a mad dash for the Detroit River. But when they got to the Detroit River, they had to get out on the river in these handmade rafts that they had made. And some of the brothers and sisters even swam the Detroit River all the way to Canada to Queen. Mm -hmm. This is the history you have right here in this time. Yeah. What? <laughs> Every time I get to that river, I say, my God, uh, we lost the sister of Delisa Word. Yes, she did yes. another sacrifice into that river. But that's where the bones of our ancestors are at. And children, we must remember them. Because their struggle must not be in vain. We must pick up the torch and we must do something. So as we come on this journey, and just close your eyes for a minute and remember the brothers and sisters coming over on the slave ship. It was a painful journey. And some of us are still suffering today because of it. But as we open our eyes, we want to think about all of those brothers and sisters whose names that we never knew who were shipped to all points, north, east, and west. But most of all, we survived. Oh, yeah. We survived all of that, and we the descendants are still standing here today. So to all of our ancestors who lost their lives during the what is called the Middle Passage, those that had to take the last of the slave master's whip on those at their back, those that were lynched, those that were raped, those that were murdered, those that were castrated, we never should ever get them as we pour one unanimous libation for all of our ancestors who died during the great African Holocaust. We say inside, inside, here in the United States, to the great David T. Walker, to the great Nat Turner, who turned the revolt on the plantation to the Honorable Marcus Garvey, who gave us the red, black, and green flag, and the Black Cross nurses, and the African legions and heirs, and I can go on and on and on. Just one man, okay? But still, we had the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, we had the Honorable Nova Du Ali, the list goes on, the Honorable Paul Robeson, the Honorable Fannie Lou Hamer, the Honorable Mary McLeod Bethune, the Honorable Dr. Wolf George Watson Carver. Any of the people I'm talking about you don't know, you need to study. Go back to the library. But all of these ancestors that we're saluting, they are a part of us, and we are a part of them. Okay, and we have an African proverb that says, none of us is as smart as all of us. Right. You know, each one should teach one. And I'm a teacher and I'm still learning. Yeah. Okay, and I'm still humble and we're all going to learn until we get to that point that we can take our teachers and we can change something around. If we can't change anything around, we can study for now. We can have all the PhDs we want to have. But if we can't make any changes in our lives and our community, we still miseducated, like the great Carter G. Wilson once said. So as we pour this libation for those great freedom fighters all throughout the United States, oh man, we can remember those in the 60s and those that was shot with the, the guns and, and the babies that was burned up in the churches and the people who were squirting with the water holes, all the unsung heroes you never even hear about. Then we can talk about the Panthers. You see how many people we lost? And Huey B. Newton and little Bobby Hutton and Fred Hampton and Mark Clark. Okay, and in the RNA we had people who were killed. And all throughout the years, and uh, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, El Haas, Malik El Shabazz, the list goes on and on and on. We pour a unanimous libation for any brother or sister who has stood up in this society and dared to be a freedom fighter. And dared to fight and those who painted their lives, even though names are too numerous for us to mention at this time, all of them collectively, we remember them, we pour a libation for them, we say, inside. And I want to pour our last libation for our children, because we pour for the future, for the possibility of what we don't know, that may Almighty God answer our prayers to our children. May the spirit of Malcolm Garvey and Marley and all of our heroes that have gone on come back through our children. But as we pour the libation for the children, we also want to remember our own personal ancestors. Mm. I know you have grandparents, I know you have uncles and aunts and brothers and sisters that may have passed on. But as we have this quiet moment of remembrance, we would like to call some of their names. And there's some people here in Detroit, you got to help me out with. There was Mama and Baba Pomoja, there was uh, Baba Chris Austin, uh, there was Anwar Parsha, Brother Papa Wood. Oh, we would like to pour a libation for them. And at this time, let's call out the name of some of our personal ancestors that we remember there. Brother Shane. Oh, As we pour our base and remember all of those that we can remember at this time. We pray that we recruit the blessings of our Almighty God and our ancestors to be with us during this quantum and help deliver us into this next year. Watch over God us and protect us. And please protect our children. Put a real protection on our children. 
and help us to have more wisdom to teach our children, so we can make them the young scholars that will take the future and make us great once again, make us proud of our ancestors' work before us, in the name of Almighty Ola Jamari, in the name of the Richards, in the name of the great ancestors, and all those who are part of my family whose name we could not call at this time. We unanimously pour this strong libation here at the Inner City Sub Center tonight. In their name, we say, Insta, 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 Insta,